Cost estimation for reinforced concrete structures is a very important knowledge that any QS or estimation engineer should have. Because reinforced concrete structures are the most commonly used type of structures worldwide. That's why in this series of videos, I'm going to be explaining how to calculate this cost in detail and without wasting your time, let's see the content of this mini course. So as we see, we have these sections here. We have section one, which is introduction and understanding the project, which is what we are doing now. And section two will be the quantity takeoff, where I'll be showing you how to measure the concrete quantities and how to calculate the formwork quantities and how to calculate the steel quantities as well. This will be in section two. Section three will be preparation of the BOQ for the concrete works, the bill of concrete works after measuring the concrete quantities and formwork and the steel quantities. After that, in section four, we will understand what do we mean by form ratio and the steel ratio, form and the steel ratios. We will understand this in section four. And our section five will be estimating the cost of concrete works. And this estimation will include the materials required, concrete and steel and so on, and the equipment if we need any scaffolding or something, and the manpower required for such work, carpenters, steel fixers, labors, and so on and any subcontractors included in this process. And we will see what do we mean by that. Then after we estimate the cost in section six, we will come to a conclusion, which is what is the total cost and total price per cubic meter for each element and the total cost and the total price per cubic meter for the project as a whole, and also the manpower cost and the price per cubic meter. And we will be taking an example of a small project here just to make it easy and fast. But this small project will be enough and easy for you to understand the full concept. And as we can see here, this project starts from here where we have isolated footings. We have F1 and we have F2 and let's see here there is also F3. Then after that, we have the neck column layout. Then we have here the ground floor layout where you have the ground beams and the slab on grade and all of this. Then we have the columns layout. Then we have the roof slab layout where we have the beams and the slab. And also we have the sections or the schedules for the footings, for the ground beams, for the drop beams and so on. And quickly, if we are meeting for the first time, I am Ahmad Adel and you are watching Cost Engineering Professional. And here I help you develop the required skills and enhance your knowledge to elevate your cost engineering career. So if this is what you want, you can quickly subscribe. So with this out of the way, what we did in this video, we did section one, which is an introduction. What are we going to have in this series of videos or in this mini course? And we have also seen the drawings of the project that we are going to be estimating. And in the next video, we will be doing the quantity takeoff. And I have a surprise for you because I have a tool that will help us take off the quantities very fast and very accurate. And I'm going to explain that tool to you and everything. Once the next video is released, you will find it here next to me. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.